Well, good morning, everybody. Here we are on January the 13th, Saturday. Welcome to Saturday, all of you who have the privilege of having a day off. And I know it's not really a day off for most of you as you get all your chores and shopping. Although I'm not sure many people will be out shopping today. It's uh, really, I guess we can say it's our first winter storm. We've had some snowfalls before, but this is our first winter storm. And it uh, looks like we've got about 15 centimeters down there with another 15 to come on the day. And it's snowing pretty heavy, uh, but the nasty thing's going to be the, the winds as they pick up. And uh, I feel like a minus 21 in this. It's horrible. I've seen people stopping out on the street trying to clear off their, their windshield wipers. and it's, uh, So it looks like it might be a sticky snow. Going to find out soon as I have to go out and shovel. So, um, as we continue to read through Job, uh, one of the things that strikes me, especially about today, um, Elihu um, is a worshiper. No doubt about it. Uh, he, he, gives, he gives God glory. He gives him credit. He, he recognizes him as the, the author, as the... Uh, as the sustainer of all things, provider of all things, and uh, there's definitely a, a worship there. We find the same thing in the three friends of Job. Uh, each one of them, in turn, took time to honor God, to, to worship him, and uh, Job himself, a worshiper. Um, but, but for me, that, 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 that gives us a warning, and uh, we should take note of that. Uh, because you can worship God and still be wrong. You can worship God and not be in step with Him. Um, I know there's different uh, levels of worship. And um, we, we, we can come in and, and we can worship Him and we can mean. Because I, I believe these, these uh, comforters of, of Job... Um, meant what they said. I, I, I believe it. But if we're not also seeking relationship, if we're not seeking uh, that depth, if we're not at that place of what, what Paul was talking about is when we have died and now our, our life is in Christ. So we live through Christ. We don't live through our flesh. We don't live by our means. We live by the means of Jesus Christ. Most Christians just don't get that. They don't get it. And, and most of the time, I don't think we get it. <clears throat> we, don't, we don't get to live by our wisdom. Um, we, we can. But that, that's not keeping in step with God. Uh, we, we, don't, we don't see people and judge people by, by the flesh. Um, that's, that's living according to our flesh and not accord, keeping in step with God. We, we don't come into circumstances and situations and assess them according to our flesh. If we do, we are living by our flesh, not keeping in step with God. And we've been called into, we're, we're spiritual creatures and we've been called in, into that. We've been given the Holy Spirit to enable us to live in that place. But it's it's like peeling onions. Man. You, you, you think you're... You think you've discovered it, and, and, and there's another thing to peel, and you think you've discovered another thing to peel, and we just keep going deeper and deeper because there's so much involved with it. And um, it, 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 it's something that I, I really think we should take to heart. Just because we worship doesn't mean we're in step. Just because we worship doesn't mean we are actually right with God. Just because we worship does not mean that we have the discernment, the spiritual discernment that we need uh, to serve Him. That's really something to, to keep in mind and give us cause to, to look at our relationship. You know, if, if, we're not, if, if we're not spending the time with Him every single day, and I mean throughout the day, uh, if we're not worship, worshiping Him every day, if we're not seeking the Word um, if we're not, if we're not desiring to live through Christ, uh, if we're not discovering how to do that, if, if we're not seeking how to do that, then <clears throat> we're, we're just, it's just words. It's all it is, it's just words. And we should be seeing fruit in our life. 
that's, that's what Jesus said. When, when he said that he abides in us, and we abide in him, it's for the purpose of seeing fruit produced in our lives. And that's what we should be seeing. And if there's no fruit there, then we, we've got to, we really got to ask ourselves what's going on. We really do. Am I in step with the Spirit as I'm supposed to be? Uh, is there any selfishness there? Are you seeking things for yourself? Are you seeking things for God's glory? Are you seeking things for the church? Are, are, are you seeking things for the kingdom? Are you seeking things for your neighbors? Um, fasting really <laughs> brings you to a place of just every, everything gets everything gets reduced. Everything gets reduced. It's just it's reduced, and you're left with the simplest things. I know some of you have been uh, reneging. I feel bad for you. Uh, some of you have been backing off from what you said you were going to fast, and I feel really bad for you because you've broken a commitment. And um, I'm going to address that a little bit on, on Sunday. I guess it's fair warning for you not to come. <laughs> um, let your yes be yes and your no be no. Fasting. Something to play with. It's something that is uh, it, it, very serious. It's a very serious thing. It's a spiritual thing. It's very serious. And um, if you if you've backed down on what you said you were going to do, then I really suggest that you you go to God, repent of it, and pick it up again. Uh, finish what you said that, that you were going to what, what you started with. Um, fasting reveals a lot of things. It reveals weaknesses, it reveals strengths, uh, it reveals uh, doors that are open that we weren't aware that were open, uh, it reveals more of God's nature to us, um, and it really reveals Father's heart for us. So I, I pray that you'll continue with it. So you'll be blessed in the day. Uh, if you don't have to go out, don't go out today. Today is not a day to go out. So you stay home, have your coffee at home, uh, enjoy the day. It's uh, beautiful looking out, watching it. Uh, I'm going to watch it from behind a counter of an empty store. <laughs> I live here, so I'm here, and uh, i got to keep my store hours. So uh, you'll be blessed in the day, and uh, I pray that you have opportunity for ministry today. And that uh, the Lord will use you in mighty ways. God bless.